attack. Just a moment. Yes, they've wanted their zillion to die. Those were the worst blocks they could make, though, I guess, on these things. But unless they really want to kill those things, I guess then it's not the worst. Uh, I'm going for the Daybreak Stun. A blade forged with blessed sunlight. With Leona. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Leona Tarek. We're going to play some Daybreak support. Um, should be pretty fun. This is something a little bit different from like the, what normal people are doing right now. Everybody's kind of playing Auction and Viego and Sivir and kind of just any combination of those three champions and, and different decks. So we're going to be doing something completely different. We're going to have Demacia and Targon, mostly all Targon, with a bunch of Daybreak cards to level up our Leona. Um, be able to have Tarek as well. Kind of, you know, a couple of similar champions. They both cost four. They're both three fives. Um, so they're good in combat. Uh, we can support over a lot of spells with Tarek. I think the power of our deck is going to kind of come out of not only our champions, but out of Golden Ages and Zenith Blade with our champions. Of course, Golden Ages with Tarek is incredible because if you haven't seen this combo before, you get to rally multiple times because you put the Golden Ages on the Tarek, you rally. Then you get to attack, you support, copy the spell over to whoever you're supporting, and then it does the same thing, and then you get to rally again, and you get to, uh, you know, go try again. So that's a very powerful combination. Plus, we're going to have Zenith Blade, granting the plus one, plus two, and Overwhelm to these things and to just other stuff, and then being able to copy over and, and grant again. Another very powerful combination. Besides that, we got other good spells, Single Combat, Sharp Sight, Pill Cascade, Guiding Touch, lots of great two mana spells, and some uh, good quality units with the Solari Soldier and Shield Bearer, Mountain Goat, and then also the Sunhawk. All right, so let's give it a try. Let's play some Leona Tarek. All right, we got Sivir Zed. So starting off with Sivir. Let's mulligan. I don't. I well. Hmm. This part is not. You know, this card's not good at all against Sivir, but can be okay against Zed. I think it's kind of just a. Um, cool. It's going to be a pump spell matchup. So hopefully our deck does pretty well in different combat scenarios. Okay, now I haven't mentioned this in a while. I, have, I forgot to mention it the rest of the day and everything, but we're doing a donation goal here to help with how expensive all these cosmetics are, buying them for the channel and everything. If you uh, would like to help support, if you're watching later on YouTube, and would like to donate to uh, help support for the cosmetics. We're, uh, um, we're at 35 out of 100 for our goal there. Would you look at this place and you got that? Okay. Go get the shiny dog. Devotion through battle. Just trades a, this would just trade him with a two one, which is better than having a sipper kill him. Oh hey, we got a donation deck. Awesome. Yes, they're gonna have the, the quick quick attack with that. Okay, all right. So uh, that's the thing. Also, if you donate ten dollars for those y'all watching later on YouTube, if you don't know about donation decks, if you donate ten dollars, you can also um, let me know any kind of deck you want me to play. You can send me a deck code, or you can just ask me to build a deck and play it, and have a video of it. I will uh, certainly do that. So that's a ten dollar or more donation. We'll get you that. Bask in the lights, radiant. All right, so I uh, don't care exactly when I play it. Cool. Spokala, thank you so much for that donation. And then also Mayor Emanuel with the dollar a bit. So let's see. So that's going to get us to 46. Thanks, you guys. All right, we'll pass. This is not looking great with the different vulnerable. 
We shall see. Here, pup. Okay. We're gonna let that die. And we're gonna block this thing and keep them from continually having the quick attack. Tarek. Sunlight is unrelenting as I I'm probably not attacking though. Even the sun must set. Cuz I can't really protect very well and they are also another deck that's going to have a lot of pump spells and stuff. Chase what you want without mercy. I wish we were playing against this with our withering will last <laughs> last deck. Thirteen. The mountain endures. I just have to play that card, even though we don't get the nightfall, it's which is unfortunate. But I have to play it to try to kill the rune runner. Um Shapestone's definitely an option, right? That's why I don't want to block the three one, because if I block the three one, they shape stone, then that that's six power. Or if I block here or if I block here, they go shape stone, it's five, and then I can have a pale cascade save. A pale cascade wouldn't save through a shape stone on the three one. Okay, let's go with... How much mana am I going to have next turn? 7, 8, 9, 10. Or so, a 7, 11. 11 mana right now. Lead with Zenith Blade. Copy over Zenith Blade. Okay. A good scene on this one. Pretty awkward with not being able to play like the gem first to heal the Tarek because of Daybreak. Alright, but we got the other two Zenith plays out of the deck, so now we don't have to worry about drawing those anymore. Ah, uh, there's the Shape Stone. So this would be the uh, last target to level up Tarek. I am the protector of the mountain. Pledge yourself to the shadows. I want to just fight this Zed with the 6-4 right now. They probably don't have a pump spell, right? Because if they would have had a pump spell, they probably would have used it to kill the Taric. I think that's a fair assumption. But I guess, oh, I guess I don't get to have any Daybreak if I do fight right now. Alright, you say fight. Alright, we shall fight. Fight. 
they had a barrier. It wasn't a pub spell, but it was a barrier. I don't really see any reason to play a gem. All these things die. If both these things die, no matter, you know, that gem doesn't really help. That was a good barrier. That was a good barrier. Because I can't, I can't wait till after I play the Sunhawk to single combat. First, the Sunhawk would just just takes takes rid of the spell shield. That's all it does is gets rid of the spell shield. It doesn't do anything else. Um, but then I can't. Um, Fade and be gone. I guess playing the gem would save me one life. But then if I once I play the Sunhawk, then they just attack, and so then I can't like they st they get the three two. Right, so like it's it's too late at that point. Gently, gently. <laughs> Man, Treasure Seeker is awesome. These waking sands have been quite good. I'm basically waiting for a judgment to walk through that door. I don't know if there's a judgment walking through that door. That's what I'm waiting on. It's not a judgment. They followed the wrong master. Those waking sands uh, really did a lot of work. Does it feel weird to anybody else that, like, Dune, Dune Keeper was obviously too good, and like they had to nerf, even though they didn't want to nerf Sharima cards, right? But they had to because it was too good, and then they just printed a better Dune Keeper with the Treasure Keeper, which is just a better card and like was better than the first one. Is it just me that feels like that's really weird? They they take a card that was obviously a one drop that was obviously too good, and they had to nerf it with Dune Keeper, and then they, they just make a better version with Treasure Keeper. I don't. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't. I don't know if it makes sense to anybody else out there, but I don't get it. Right, not main decking. It's not weird that people don't main deck Waking Sands. It's not worth main decking, but get, having a two one create a free card that's a that's a very useful card. It's only a one mana card. That's all, a one mana two one is a great body, and having that create a free card that's incredibly useful at one mana. Like that's that's why people played. Like that's why Zoe was the best champion in the game because Zoe was a one mana card that made a very useful card. And that's why I was the best champion in the game for a long time. And they just made that on, like, a common. <laughs> I don't understand how that card was printed. Where they, they were like, yeah, this is this is a good idea to print. This looks completely fair. Okay, absolutely, Maximus wants a Viego Hecarim deck for a donation deck. Cool, cool. I will make a Viego Hecarim deck for you. Do you have any preference on the secondary region? Find a gift for Ride our I think I'm going to just play the Guiding Touch just to be a draw two. No, I'll just attack. Okay, no preference.
Yeah, Merciless Hunter has to get nerfed. That's... I don't know what they're doing these days with some of these Sharima cards. They just make Treasure Keeper, Merciless Hunter, Ruin Runner. They're just making cards that are better than champions, and they're just putting them at common, and... I don't... I don't understand it. But I guess they... they... I think they've just kind of said that they just want every single person playing Sharima right now. Because it's the new region. And so they just push a few certain cards. And I, I guess... They're getting the desired effect. Wrap them up tight. You cannot sway me. So I want to get rid of this Honored Lord so that they are not able to get the bonus with it. Okay, we got Robin plus Leona. They made that Leona level up animation faster. Did you notice that? Like it, they made that faster. Yeah, I, I would, I would do both those changes honestly. Like, yeah, make it not permanent grant. I like that, and then also get rid of fearsome. I also like that. I think this card could certainly be tuned down quite a bit. A three mana four three. That's like the. It's like already like huge. Like it doesn't need like a three mana four three is like like as big as they as it gets. It really doesn't need anything else. What's mm. Zenith Blade? Leona or Robin? I guess Leona. Yeah, it's better than Callista. Better than Nocturne. Ow. Oh, that was not good for me. It will be nice whenever we get to the next region and then they are able to nerf Sharima cards. <laughs> you know, like, same thing like with Targon, they they just didn't nerf Targon cards for a while, whenever they were, like, the new new thing. Fate is what I make. So we have a lot more cards than they do in hand, but we have some cards that don't necessarily do very much. Save the life steal unit for next round. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Wrap them up tight. I mean, I was gonna block anyway, but they get the four damage in. Defender is not one you see very often. Alright, cool. So they got no cards left. But they got that thing. And gonna do this just to gain that other six life. So you assume they're doing the draw too. Seems like a safe assumption. Okay, so 
So they got three cards, I got four. No time to form up. Ride. The power of the immortal sun. The sun's splendor revealed. Looks like we're in a lot of trouble. Cause I have nothing but rallies. Nothing but useless rallies. To the field. Alright, Sunforger. Shining gifts from the sky. I kinda wanna just use this right now. Oh, they're gonna have another fight spell, maybe. Uh, maybe I don't. Yeah, maybe I don't. No. I don't understand. Why that block? I'm surprised about that block. Radiant strikes. Do your worst. Back up to twenty. worth the Relentless Pursuit. Trade Relentless Pursuit plus Sunforger for the 4-4. Four four. That's not really worth it. We can wait till after we have the barrier on and the now Relentless Pursuit, assuming they don't block. Yeah, that's kind of why would they block. Whole bunch of pump spells that we kind of both had. Just waited them out, eventually got there. GG's. Yeah, that was a really odd game, wasn't it? <laughs> that was just like a bunch of stuff kind of died early, and then we both were left with kind of nothing. Real odd game there. All right, Zillion Echo. I think we should do pretty good against Zillion Echo. And they usually kind of struggle against larger things. Oh, man, the thing is, is I like I like all these cards against Zillion Echo, but we need the units. Right, but like pill cat, like these are all things that draw cards, and drawing cards is really important in this matchup. But we need units. I wonder if I can get away with keeping them though, because like we're probably gonna draw units, right? Probably, yuck, that's like the worst thing to draw. Like the rallies, I don't want those right now, those are just the worst things to, to possibly draw right now. But you know, we'll wait till round 17, like last game, and then we'll play good with golden ages. And then it'll be fine. Defending on me. 
Can I have a champion, please? I would like to draw one champion. No, Zenith Blade is just the other worst card, because now we don't get to draw it. Hasn't gone very well so far. We did draw a unit, so I guess I can't complain too much. We did draw a unit. It was it, it was the weakest unit in our deck. The only one mana unit. Obviously, if I know that these are going to be our draws, then I am, you know, mulliganing. I'm definitely mulliganing the Zenith Blade. I'm probably a Pale Cascade as well. Not much, just chilling. Wow, they don't want to take any damage. We have a great Taric hand when we draw a Taric. It's going to be epic. And we're just going to uh, Pill Cascade this soldier. Get it out of one health. I didn't Pill Cascade before damage, because I don't really want to do more damage to Zillion, to be honest. <laughs> it's 1-2, one, 1-1, one, one, you know, not too much different. Alright, there we go. Mountain Goat's useful. No, I, I, you don't want to play Spacey Sketcher to discard extra Zenith Blades. You want to just play your Zenith Blades. Zenith Blade is, is as good as anything you could get. Spacey Sketcher could discard gems. That could be useful, but I would not play it to discard extra Zenith Blades. I would just recommend casting the Zenith Blades. Are probably looking for some time bombs. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. All right, basically just trying to level up the Leona. This will be leveled up Leona that will also have Overwhelm. The opponent may be new. That, that's possible. Maybe they're reading all the cards. No, I... I so you think Leona should do one damage, like stun and do one damage to the thing it stuns? That's a possibility. I would just personally give Leona a keyword. It could, it could use a keyword. It's a Targon keyword. Tough. Seems like Quick Attack is kind of used a little too much. Alright, so that's the Predict card that puts something on top, and then you also make a copy of it and put it into your hand. Yeah, I wouldn't do Quick Attack. Um, Spell Shield. Spell Shield's pretty flavorful for Leona. I could see Spell Shield being Leona having Spell Shield. Yes. Okay, Leon is a, a tank in league. Yes, a tough spell shield regen. Any of those keywords. I could see Leona having one of those. Regen would, would be kind of nice. I guess I'm just attacking with this. So right now, you have to imagine that they got a good amount of time bombs over there. They don't have, like, very many cards, but if they're time bombs, we're in a lot of trouble because then the zillion levels. Oh, this opponent's so slow. Okay, so they're gonna draw a lot of cards. So the, the card they predicted was Preservarium, so this, this card should be a Preservarium as well. It was that card they played, right? Yeah. Let's go, Keeper. No time to waste. Remember, Man, that thing's still a 4-4. A beam of light to pierce the heavens. These are the hands that will shape the future. Oh, 
as well just, just be keeping up the pill cascade, but I kind of want to attack with the goat. And create some gems. Attack! Just a moment. Yes, they've wanted their zillion to die. Those were the worst blocks they could make, though, I guess, on these things. But unless they really want to kill those things, I guess then it's not the worst. Uh, I'm going for the Daybreak Stun. A blade forged with blessed sunlight. With Leona. That's why I didn't lead with a gem. But of course I have the exact four mana needed for a Golden Ages if we want to rally and attack again. I see you picked up a little more than knowledge. Facing certain doom. I had to be resourceful. The text out of this world. So this is six damage. They're tapped out. All right, so tapped out means just golden ages. We'll finish the job with Leona. And GG's. See, I told you those Golden Ages were going to be good around 17. Alright, we are 2 and 1. Soul Invictus. Alright, we played against Zed Viego a little bit ago, and my opponent had a great curve of like Eye the Dragon into Zed. Uh, into like retreat return to put in the Camivoran soldier into another Camivoran soldier into Viego and it was just pretty crazy so hopefully nothing like that again uh, yeah at, but that's true at worst even if we lose these next two we, we finish out our two three day so we can only you know, we, we have the baseline of like 2-3 is going to be the worst we can do. So they play Zed. Oh, Shadow Assassin. I see that was going to be Zed and I was going to stun it. You got a Hapless, a Lieutenant, and a Stun Spider today. Those... What's, what's the Lieutenant card? Hapless Aristocrat, good. I've gotten that one before. And Stun Spider's good. Each life what card is Lieutenant? Let's draw some cards. Never submit. What's this card? Dragon Lieutenant. Ah, yes. Yeah, Dragon Lieutenant. Okay, yeah, Dragon Lieutenant. That one's good. They're doing this thing. They're doing the Dark Water Scourge combo. That is not a good combo, but I guess... Yeah, sure. I guess it's going to be great right here, but... Oh, well. Oh, okay, that, that combo. Alright, that combo not as bad. 
for me. I don't know. I guess that's still probably pretty bad, but it's not as, like, not going to be, like, killing my Taric. Lost in reflection. Let's go and do it. Six out of seven. So unfortunately, that's going to be seven. That won't be. That won't be the can't take damage or die, Tarek. I want to Zenith Blade, Tarek. What am I worried about if I Zenith Blade? If I go Zenith Blade right here. Otherwise, okay, so I can just Sharp Sight and just like auto attack and then they can't take damage or die. Basically, like Vengeance. We cannot counter Vengeance with Sharp Sight, not, not if I start with Zenith Blade. Okay. Hopefully we get to attack. Probably playing that Golden Ages when I did probably wasn't worth it. I don't know. I got, like, the leveled up Taric, which is what I really wanted. I really wanted leveled up Taric to be able to attack and everything. Now my best draw is another Golden Ages. Oh, they played the Ephemeral one? I don't think that's what they meant to do. I understand your frustration, opponent. Her light is our sword, her warmth our armor. Night falls. Find the beginning. You cannot sway me. Why do I not just have that? Oh, I should just block that one one. Why am I not blocking that one one? With my five four life steal, I don't know why I'm not blocking there. A rally. Wait. A rally. Okay, so I I was definitely planning on playing the the blessing of Targon. But now, I am going to be doing this. Never submit. All right, so these two can't take damage or die. Death becomes you. So the life steal doesn't work. I guess Atrocity can kill me, because I didn't block that 1-1 one, one with my 5-4 lifesteal. But they could have had twin- they could have twin- uh, twin disciplines. So my thinking here is, you know, then we'll be able to Relentless Pursuit, and then we'll be able to Sharp Sight again. And we can Sharp Sight on the other- like this other Sunhawk, so that make it not also be able to take damage or die. 
As long as they don't have atrocity, I think we got this. Well, I guess... Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, so this puts them just down to four. Mmm. Okay. So we're going to Sharp Sight here. Do two extra damage. Still have this 10-10. Overwhelm. Can't take damage or die. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. Discipline and conviction. No. Oh no! Do I need to rally? Single combat? Ugh. They have nine cards over there. I'm also one mana short from playing everything in my hand now to be able to try to kill the Viego. Man, Concussive Palm plus Deny. That that was a great round for them. I guess I should have played more things and, and you know attack you know, I should have like played these things out first and just you know, I should have attacked with all this stuff. Also, like I yeah, like that's what I needed to do. I needed to not think that my rely was happening. My deny was or sorry, my rally was happening. Yeah, Viego's level up is honestly fairly is pretty easy with with how easy it is to make encroaching miss and everything. I don't know. If I would have played other stuff first, they would have concussed a palm and then I wouldn't have attacked with my Taric. Now I think I gotta attack with the Taric, but I guess I need to attack I need to it I need to send the other things in though. But So all Shadow Isles. I'm gonna send the spells back, look for some more units. That was disappointing. Bless the people and sear the heretics. Devotion to battle. So I played that Golden Ages very early to try to level you know, to get the Taric leveled up. I wonder what a bit I wonder what it would have been like if I would have waited on it. Alright, so yeah, Rose is a donation deck for a zillion auction infinite time bomb deck. Okay, cool. going to be a harrowing deck that we are playing against. So you, you promising future, the um, auction, the second auction landmark and make it so you have, so therefore you get two of those spells so you draw four and then make all of your spells cost two less this round and then once they cost two less 
or all of your cards cost you less, then you can play Time Bombs infinitely. Blessings from the sun. How do you keep bouncing Zillion? You say you keep bouncing Zillion. What are you, what are you supposed to do to continually bounce Zillion? Just the Ionia cards. Yeah, retreat, Navori Conspirator. All the different Ionia two mana cards that would then be zero cost. Tarek, yes. All right, we were already setting this up. For me beyond the mist, my queen. The sunlight is unrelenting as I must. So I've already played Even two Zenith Blades, so I don't have an, any more Zenith Blades to draw. So I don't have to necessarily worry about this one definitely being a daybreak. I will find her. I'll take it though. Yeah, Culling Strike doesn't kill anything <laughs> anymore. All these things are so big. But as long, if you play Frostbite with Culling Strike, that can work. Yesterday, our Frostbite deck that we played did really well. All unbelievers will see the light. Surrender to me. I really hope they don't have Hydrovine. I don't have a great plan for Hydrovine. Yeah, it makes sense as Zero Draven stop playing it. That makes sense. Okay. Shatter that. Radiant strikes. Never submit. So Tarek's at four. Next round we have Golden Ages. Oh wait. Is that gonna level this thing up? 10, 16, 18, that's gonna exactly level this thing up. Oh, I guess then that thing dies. Dude, Viego is so messed up. Yeah, I guess we just lose now. Yay. Yeah, that's just leveled up and now we lose. This card is so messed up. All right, so again, 2-3. Got to gotta have that 2-3 to finish out our 2-3 day, I guess. Um, and, you know, our deck was okay. You know, like, it, that's that's the kind of thing. Is like, we, if our opponent plays a Viego, going to be really difficult to defeat it without, like, having very much removal at all. Single combat just doesn't kill Viego, right? Like, that's that's the thing. Like, it just doesn't work. Um, Viego's too big, unfortunately. And so that's just not a way to be able to kill Viego. Um, this kind of deck, you could play Hush. Hush would be kind of nice of like, you know, keeping that thing the size down at least for a round, but you got to hope it's in combat somehow and then be able to hush it uh, if they just keep it on the back row. Since we don't have any challengers or anything, if they just keep it on the back row, um, that's not going to work out. So this deck was donated to me, to be fair, this deck was donated to me before the new expansion. So before Auction and Viego. So the person that had been playing the deck and everything had been playing it before Viego. Um... So yeah, maybe maybe like needs like some kind of but 
if you're going to be facing Viego with the deck, probably need like Hush or Concerted Strike. Like those kind of cards that could actually um, help kill a Viego. But all right, so there we go. That's uh, that's Leona Tarek. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there as always, and feel free to leave those comments. I really, really appreciate the comments. Those of y'all that that uh, leave them really brightens up my day. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the deck and everything like that. Um, always love the the deck reviews y'all give. All right, but that's gonna be it here for Leona Tarek. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.